All right, so this is the 12 inch Admiral Advantage. The biggest reason I wanted this one is because it has the dual bevel. You can do the miter cuts on either way. You can go left or right. So you don't have to try to flip your wood around, uh, which I really love. It also has these little gates that are a lot taller than the uh, Chicago electric one. And this one here is pretty much on the same frame as the Chicago Electric as well as the Hercules uh, version. And the Hercules version is like $140 more expensive than this one with only a few upgrades. Okay, so for some basic stats, it can do four by 14 on the horizontal cut capacity, six and a half inch nested crown molding. And we're gonna be putting some crown molding up in the house a little bit later. And it also does five and a half inches on vertical baseboards, which is pretty great. Uh, you do need to make sure uh, that you are on a 15 amp circuit so that you don't uh, you know, trip this when you are doing it. Uh, so make sure that you are on a 15 amp plug uh, to be able to take full advantage of this bad boy here. Okay, once again, it is a 12 inch blade size. It does come with a free blade inside. It also has a one inch arbor and uh, 3,800 RPMs. And uh, the total weight on this particular unit is 49.3. Uh, the bevel angles is 45 degrees and the miter angle is 47 degrees. Item number 64686. As I said, this one here has four and a half inch tall sliding fences uh, where the other one is like one and a half to two inches. Uh, it also allows you to do the bevel controls in the front where the Chicago Electric, the controls are in the back. And uh, this one here also has the laser cut line. Uh, now I've seen in some of the review videos that the laser actually doesn't completely line up where your cut is. So we're gonna test that out and we're gonna let you know. Uh, and uh, you see that we actually got the last one. So we're hoping that it's not damaged in the box. We're hoping that it's just cosmetic so that we can get in here and start cutting some stuff. Uh, it also comes with an LED work light on the side and it has extension tables to be able to support your long pieces of wood if you're cutting or your long pieces of molding, stuff like that. Now, let me tell you, I get a lot of my tools for free. I recently got a free sander. I recently got a free nail gun. Uh, and some other things as well. I did buy this myself. And uh, if anyone out there is watching and they have routers and you wanna send me a free router, I need one of those to build my desk. I would love to do a video on it. So get at me if you got a free router. Massive box, let's jump right in. Okay, let's see what's inside. All right, so first thing on the top, that's our 60 inch tooth saw blade right there. Came for free instead of having to spend 20 bucks on a blade. That is awesome. All right, so we got the user manual. All right, we got some springs here. We've got the dust bag. We're trying to suck up some dust. All right, we've got one of the locking gates here. All right, here's the locking wrench. All right, we got some more pieces that we're gonna have to assemble. There she is, the fabled saw. Look at that bad boy. It's all shiny, ready to go. So in the box, I found something damaged here. Hopefully it's not something too important. We'll have to check it out and see where it goes. All right, on the front, it comes with a zip tie that you need to cut off. There's a red lock in the back that you need to undo so that you can move the saw up, move it back and take out the styrofoam. You can use the red knob back and forth to lock it so you can't move it. 
when you unlock it, it allows it to move. All right, if you want to angle the bevel of your cut, you can pull this handle up and there is a little trigger on the bottom. You can pull the trigger up and move it to wherever you want it to go. Lock it in place and then it will do the cut that you desire. So it's super easy to be able to get the degree cuts that you like uh, with a simple pull of the lever and a pull of the trigger. Now it is a little sad here in the back uh, where you do the miter angles. Um, you see that my little ruler charts are already coming up in the center where they riveted it. And on this other side, it's completely off. Probably put some adhesive down to put that on, but yeah, it's kind of sad that right out of the box, it's already coming off. If you want to move these side gates you can undo the bolt and you can move them out and you can lock them in place so that gives you a little bit more stability when you have your long pieces of wood coming down it also has holes where you can bolt it down to your table uh, to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere so it has holes in the back holes in the front on either side to go ahead and anchor it down if you want. On the ends of these it also has little end stops so you can butt your piece of wood up to it uh, to stop it while you're cutting it and keep it in place which is pretty awesome. We've got the Admiral 12 inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw owner's manual. Plug it in. Shows you where everything is. Trigger lock, laser, lower guard, the blade. You've got your fence, your miter lock knob, miter detent level, bevel lock lever, kerf board, miter angle indicator, miter scale, table extension, has the clamp, which is a huge benefit, the slider locking knob, dust collection bag, LED work light. Replacing the blade. Flange, blade, washer, flange, bolt. You got your depth bolt, the stop bolt and the stop nut for where you want it to go up and down. On and off switch for your laser guide and your LED light. Showing you how to use it. Fence adjustments. Adjustment screw for your angles, your stops, or your bevels. Actually get it going it actually has a safety trigger on either side whether you're using your left or your right hand so you have to depress that then depress the trigger uh, to get it going you also have your LED lights and your uh, light for your laser guide All right, so here's the secret. When you want to move your angle, you undo your locking knob here, you press down the trigger, and you select where you want it to go. Once you get the angle that you want it at, 
you turn the handle to lock it so then when you press the trigger it doesn't go anywhere it stays in place and cuts your angle all right to move the fences out to further support your wood when you're cutting you come back here and you undo the knob like so so you're able to move the fence you tighten it up and then it gives you stability when you're cutting further out and you have longer pieces all right if you want to take your angle off the back here from zero degrees you can come to the front and you're able to loosen up this angle adjustment so this one is locked you can pull it up and you are able to find the angle at which you want to cut and so it goes to 45 degrees on the left and 45 degrees on the right now when you're going the other way they have a zero stop block right here so what you can do is if you pull it back you can put down the zero stop block and you can actually go to the right and it also goes all the way 45 degrees to the right and 45 degrees to the left that is pretty awesome i've been looking for one that goes both ways and i love that you're able to control all of the movements up here in the front as opposed on the chicago electric where you have to go to the back and try to do it all right setting it back to zero we're going to bring it back set our zero bar back up And then we're going to lock our bar back in place. Ready to go. Now in the manual, they show you a picture of this, but they don't actually tell you how to uh, put it together. Or maybe I'm actually missing a page to do so, but we're gonna show you right now. Here in the back, there are two holes on the bottom and there are two screws. Now one of my screws actually came missing, but there should be two screws and basically you slide it into the holes, you tighten up the screws on the bottom, and then this actually sits back here to uh, keep it from flipping over, which is pretty cool. So that one's actually in there really good, which is kind of funny because the other one is completely missing. So I'm gonna to have to get my torque wrench to get this one out, my impact. All right, so we got that one in, but if you notice up here, this one also was missing a screw. So there's a screw on either side but I'm missing one here and I'm missing one there, which is kind of crazy. Skimping a little bit. I'm gonna have to take off this uh, connector here for the power cord uh, because it only has like uh, three and a half, four feet on the end of that power cord. And if you're moving it back and forth and you're not too close to the socket, my socket's over there against the wall, uh, you may yank it or something like that. So I'm gonna have to disconnect it uh, so that I have the ability to reach it. Problem solved. Make a longer power cord. 